All right, everybody, how's it going? Ecom Tom here with another video coming at you guys. And in this video, I believe you are really going to love it if you have already started your manual eBay dropshipping business. If you've been sitting there making sales, maybe five, 10 sales a day, maybe even two or three sales a day, and you're sitting there and you have to upload your tracking numbers all the time by hand, go check your supplier, go check if the item's track, uh, shipped yet, upload the tracking number and do it all manually. There is a new software that has just come out, and this is TrackerBot Semi-Auto manual tracking uploading software. So basically what it is, it is a tracking uploading software that connects to your email, checks your PayPal email. So I explain this all later actually. After it checks that, it basically takes your supplier's emails and your PayPal emails that are connected to your eBay account, connects them together in a Chrome extension that is not connected to eBay's API whatsoever. An API, if you guys don't know, is application program interface. It's basically a way for software to connect straight into eBay. But in eBay's terms and conditions for their API, they do say that if you use their API for automatically uploading tracking numbers, then that is not allowed. So that's another reason that you could have possibly gotten your account flagged in the past, also with using automated updating, repricing softwares, things like that. But this is 100% manual software. It's not connecting to your eBay account at all. It does not connect to the API. So why not use it? Why not use tools out there that are going to help you and not hurt you? This software is basically the same as what TrackerBot used to be. If you've ever used TrackerBot in the past or if you've heard of what TrackerBot is, it's basically the same as it used to be, except there's a few more steps now. So it used to just automatically upload tracking numbers for you in the background. You didn't even know it was happening, but it was working perfectly fine for you. Now all you have to do is go in once a day, check it, and I show you exactly what to do in the second half of this video when we go into my computer. Check it, go from there, upload the tracking in bulk, and then there you go. It's an automated, it's a manual software, but it pretty much automates your tracking for you and won't get your account banned, hurt, or harmed in any way. I do show and prove on my account that it doesn't connect to the API. I'll show you guys later in this video. So before we get into the actual video, if you guys are interested in getting, getting TrackerBot, I have done a deal or worked a deal with TrackerBot for 50% off your first month. If you are interested, the affiliate link is down below in the description. There is a 14 day free trial as well. So you can try this out for free for 14 days. Uh, I show exactly how to set it up here or the basic process to set it up. There's also two PDFs that are linked down below that are also on TrackerBot's semi-auto website and that also explains everything you need. It's very simple setup, and yeah. So before we get into it, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video out to everybody so that they can have another piece of software in their arsenal to make their life easier in their manual eBay dropshipping process. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates for videos like this right when they happen. Make sure that happens by hitting the bell notification button. You will get notified. Be one of the first people to see these videos that I put out every three, two, three times a week. So before, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it and I'll see you inside my computer. So here we are inside of my computer and let's just go over this quickly. It is pretty, pretty, pretty easy to set up, so don't worry. It's very easy, but one thing to be known is that if you have a TrackerBot account already, if you've been using it for something else, you need to create a new TrackerBot account for the non-API method, so the semi-auto TrackerBot. So if you go to trackerbot.me, their regular website at the top in red, it says TrackerBot non-API. If you click that, then you're gonna be brought to trackerbot.me slash semi-auto. So it is a different payment and it is a whole different account. So you wanna make sure that you have your emails and your passwords all set up and just make sure that you, you do create a whole different account and you understand what's going on. If not, I mean, if you just create another account, you're all good and you should be fine. So you'll notice you're there. You're there when it says semi-auto right here under TrackerBot. And from there, you can click get started now. So one thing to be known is that there is a 14 day free trial for this, I do believe. And there's also, if you use my affiliate link down below, there's also 50% off your first month. I'm trying to help you guys out here, you know, get your 14 days in, see if you like it, if it's worth it for you, then go ahead, purchase it. And also if you do purchase it, you know, you get 50% off your first month, any plan, any size plan you want, you know, with my affiliate link down below. So after you click it, you know, you log in, all you have to do is just click log in up here. <clears throat> after you log in, you're gonna be brought here. So it's basically the regular dashboard, you know, I know there's a lot blurred out, but it's basically the regular dashboard that it always has been. And there really isn't very much to it. Uh, the only thing I can say is that in order to set it up, in order to really learn how to set it up, it's really not that hard. You do have to download the Chrome extension. I'll put the link down in the description below. The Chrome extension looks like this up here. It's this magnifying glass, but also there's an FAQ section. And if you do click it, then there are two different PDF documents that you can read. I'll have this in the description below as well on how to actually set it up. It's really not hard. All you need to do, is download the Chrome extension, 
you want to connect the email that your PayPal is connected to. So that's how it reads it. It reads it off your PayPal email. That's how it gets your eBay order numbers and your customer names. And from there, then it connects into, you know, your suppliers and whatever, as long as the suppliers are that you're using are supported by TrackerBot, which the list is right here. So you can click the suppliers. So this is all the suppliers that TrackerBot can upload for, whether it's the automated one, which I really haven't been using for seven months because I don't want to connect API to my account. But also this now does work for non-automated, uh, non-API related solutions. So once you have it downloaded, I mean, all it does is just scrape your email, check to make sure everything's all good, finds the matches, and then the Chrome extension works. It's magic. So how does it do that? You need to log into your eBay and also make sure you're logged into your actual semi-auto TrackerBot account. Once it's there, I believe what happens is TrackerBot, your account sends all the information to the Chrome extension. It's all loaded in there. You can't really see anything, but you know, it's there. So after that, all you really have to do, you can click on the Chrome extension as well. And I've only been using this for a few days, but then you can also click go to eBay orders or just go to your TrackerBot account. So there is a little bit of a setup here, but it's really not much. I do believe it does work with Blue Care Express tracking numbers, but I have not been using Blue Care Express or anything Amazon. I don't really believe you should be doing Amazon onto eBay anymore. I've seen a high rate of people getting flagged, MC011s and all sorts of things because of it. But if you do do it, I do believe it works that way as well. I can't, I can't tell you what to do. I can just show you what I do. So after that, all you have to do is go to your eBay account. Once you're there, just click on orders and you want to make sure you're clicking on the actual orders tab, not the one that says like five need to be shipped in the next 24 hours or anything. It's just the actual orders tab. So if you have spot and paste, spot and paste always shows up right here and TrackerBot kind of just pushes it off to the side a little bit. So it will go through and right now I, I did just upload a bunch, but you know, here we are again. So it says that I have 16 orders I need to go out. This is my newest uh, eBay account. Uh, that I, I've been doing the experiments on recently. And out of those 16, it says that seven of the tracking numbers match um, something that TrackerBot has pulled out. So all you need to do, make sure you're logged into your TrackerBot account. Make sure you're logged into your eBay account. Make sure you have your Chrome extension downloaded and make sure that your Chrome extension is connected to the email that your PayPal is set up to. Also, if your PayPal is not a Gmail, uh, it needs to be. So don't go ahead and think, oh, I need to go change my PayPal. There is in the setup here somewhere it shows you how to set up an auto forward from your regular PayPal to a Gmail, and then from there it can read it. So, you know, after it reads your emails, basically all you need to do, like I said, is really just go to your orders and then just click upload trackings. Once you click upload trackings, you're going to be brought to this page. And basically it's all the trackings. Like I said, there were seven right here that I had. So it's seven. Here's all the orders. And like I said, I know a lot's blurred out, but here's the orders. Those are supposedly the tracking numbers that match up with it. One thing I do want to say is this is a brand new program. It did just get launched uh, from beta about two days ago. So, or three days ago, you do want to keep in mind that with new programs that there's always going to be possible slight issues that could come about. I'm never going to try a brand new program and not double check things myself. I think you guys should do the same as well. You should always double check things and make sure these programs that you're using are actually doing what they're supposed to be. And I'm not saying that TrackerBot here doesn't work. I'm saying that there could just be issues in the future. One thing I have realized is if your order comes with two uh, boxes, so say it's a big order, maybe from Walmart, like a trampoline or something that usually comes in two different orders, then sometimes TrackerBot, from what I've seen, only will upload one of them. So you want to kind of be weary of that. So what I've been doing is right here, it's, this is the buyer's actual name. I have it highlighted. I have it blurred out right now, but this is the person's name. From there, you can go search their name in your orders or anything in your, in your orders tab on eBay. You know, go find the order that corresponds to it. Go look up that order on your supplier and just double check if the tracking number is actually the correct thing. You know, like I said, this is a new program. Uh, it has been working very well for me, but I do want to say just in case, you know, it's, it's brand new. So if there are any mistakes, you want to catch them instead of just uploading the wrong tracking number to your account. Because if you upload a lot in bulk like that and they're all wrong, or if there is an issue and you haven't caught it, then, you know, you could have a lot of customer service on your hands. So, so far, so good, but I'm just saying double check just to be safe. So I've been looking it up. I've already checked. What I usually do is check the first one, the last one, and something in the middle. And as long as those all match up, then I'm guessing the rest match up. After that, all you really have to do is just click upload. And after you click upload, you just bulk uploaded seven in a row. But eBay's system has been down for a while. Uh, it's been doing this recently for the last week. I do believe it's will, it did still upload. But that is about it. So, I mean, like I said, 14-day free trial. And there's also 50% off for the first month if you guys do want to go through my affiliate link. It's not that expensive either way, but, you know, a dollar is a dollar. A couple dollars is a dollar. And if you're tight on money, 
it could help you out. And I'm always trying to help you guys get the best deals and use the best programs. Like I said, I haven't pushed Tracker Bot in seven months, but I've been working with them in the background for a while, talking about how to do an actual, you know, manual tracking uploading software. And they listened. A lot of software companies have not been listening, but Tracker Bot is obviously for the people. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Um, you know, it's really easy to set up, like I said, but if you have any questions or concerns, I mean, I can show you, uh, I, it's, I'm not going to show you guys. It doesn't connect to your API at all. Uh, I'll just pause it, actually bring it up. So just to ease any concerns here, if it was connected to the API or if it wasn't, um, this is the third party authorizations on this account. It's the same account. Like I said, uh, this is eBay, 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 eBay. Lithium Technologies is the, uh, the company that runs the forums for eBay. So that's also eBay and then file exchange. That's eBay as well. eBay runs the file exchange. So none of this is connected to the API. That's proof of it. It is a 100% safe software to be using. And like I've been saying, it's manual drop shipping, but you want to be using as many software that, connect, that don't connect to the API in your favor to help you out because why not? This software makes your life easier and if it doesn't get your account flagged, then why not use it? My account has been flagged. I don't see how your account could get flagged from uploading tracking numbers this way. I, I think it's 100% pos impossible. It, you will not get flagged from this. So anybody that is worrying about getting flagged, don't worry about it, it's not going to happen. You know, you're gonna get flagged from connecting other software to your API. But like I said, this is a non-API method. So please, if you guys have any questions, please drop them below. I'm going to answer every single one of them. If you do like this information, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already been lurking in the backgrounds, watching my videos, not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, please hit the bell notification. You will get notified every single time right away when an, a video like this goes up. And you'll be one of the first people to see it. And you'll be ahead of the game. So... Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys really like, you know, another software that's come out that can help you run your manual eBay dropshipping store. And hopefully in the future, more and more come out to the point where manual eBay dropshipping is just as robust as it used to be with automated. And, you know, we're back to where it was. And hopefully, you know, everything is just as automated as possible while still being manual and nothing is connecting to the API. So thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good one.